what a fantastic photograph. To take that photo, you must have a very expensive camera. Friends, visitors, guests, those viewing at home, let me dispel that myth. Have you ever been to someone's place for a meal? They've invited you over and they've whipped up a delicious meal. The meat's nice and tender, vegetables are delicious, fruit is fresh, dessert, it tastes as amazing as it looks. Do you go to your guests and say, that was well done, you must have an expensive oven? You don't say that, do you? Because it's not the oven that cooks the food, it's the chef. Now there's a wide range of cameras available on the market and I've brought a few in to show you. One of which most of us would have in our possession. The others, some may or some may not. We start off with, of course, the phone camera. Now you may be thinking, what sort of photos can you take with a phone camera? There's a couple of websites where you can actually learn to take professional photographs with an iPhone, a Samsung phone, and most other phone cameras on the market. These courses at websites such as Udemy, Domestica, $20, $25, $30. So a very small outlay, and you can actually use your mobile phone as a film camera, if you want to. Next, I have a vlogging camera. Why it stands out is the fact it's got a little screen that flips up so you can easily see yourself, and you can make sure that you actually appear in the screen. Now, I'm not photographing in all this, so don't worry. Okay. And uh, it also comes with an attachment. I didn't bring it in with me, so you can actually hold it like this with one hand and even press the stop and start button just with one hand. Next camera I have is called a tough camera. Why is it called a tough camera? I'm not going to demonstrate it to you today. But this camera, it's made by Olympus. It's called the Tough G6. And it's tough. <laughs> okay, now I can drop it on the floor if I, want, if I wanted to, but no, I don't want to. <laughs> I could put it in a bucket of water to demonstrate it works underwater, but I didn't bring a bucket of water with me. But a, a camera like this, five, six hundred dollars, and you can take it to many environments, good for the beach, the pool, and of course for normal day-to-day -day photography as well. Then we come to the DSLR, Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera. So called because it actually has a mirror on inside. And so when you take a photo, we hear that click click. That's a mirror flipping up and down, and when it flips up, the image goes onto the image sensor and is recorded. But my main workhorse is this one. This is a Nikon Z5, and this camera is what's called a mirrorless camera. The difference is that the, the viewfinder is electronic, no mirrors, you just take the photo and it's taken. So, that's a brief rundown of the cameras that are available on the market. So, you, so hopefully you're probably thinking to yourself, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can take some brilliant photographs. As I said, $25, $30 at Domestica or Udemy. You may find some other courses available. <coughs> it's very cheap and economical and it could get you started on a fantastic photographic career. Now, the title of my speech was The Most Important Photographic Equipment. And I think I know what most people are going to say. They're going to say, well, duh, it's a camera, right? Well, you may think it's a camera. But as I said before, admittedly, it's hard to cook food without the oven. But the oven does not cook food by itself. Unless, of course, you set a timer or in a recipe menu or something like that, set it to go off, then, to, it's, then okay, it does cook by itself. But still, the cook has to put the information into that camera. Sorry, into that oven. So what is the most important photographic equipment? It's something that I know that everybody in this room online has your eyes because it is your eyes 
that actually take the photograph, that takes the scenery before your finger takes a photo. Thank you.